Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install FSR 3.0 frame generation mod on Spider-Man Miles Morales. I've done this before with Spider-Man Remastered and I have a video up. Viewers were asking me whether it works on Spider-Man Miles Morales and I figured it would be the same because, you know, it's the same engine. So here I am, but I'm not going to install it the traditional method like I did with the Spider-Man Remastered the add non steam game method. I'm going to use Lutris because I have another viewer asking me if it works with Lutris. So if you like to install games with Lutris and you want to use this mod, I'll show you how. Okay, if you can see here, Spider Man Remastered, this is a non steam game. So you can see I've added a non steam game and it has the launch options with the Wine DOL overrides. For um, Miles Morales, I've installed it differently. You can see properties, it's a flat pack. It's, you know, it's Lutris. So let's get started. Okay, let's launch it up. And I've already installed all the mods, so we should see the mod window. Yep, this one. So we know that the mods are working. Okay, let's get past these warning messages. Okay, so yeah, the splash screens, like, they're all fuzzy, like... Like with Spider-Man Remastered, it's the same. Okay, let's take a look at the options, the settings. Okay, it's taking its time. All right, so let's go to settings and display and graphics. Okay, I'm going to change the window mode to uh, windowed. V-Sync off. Okay, upscale method. You can see I'm using DOSS. Upscale quality is on quality. And then dynamic resolution scaling off. Graphics, I've set to high. And I've disabled um, motion blur. And film grain. All right, so I've, I've turned all these down. But on high settings all right i think i need to apply yeah apply continue okay and for my steam deck i'm using firmware 3.5.7 this is the latest stable version as of recording so let's check again yep it's the latest stable version 3.5.7 and I have cryo utilities on recommended settings with 4 gigs VRAM okay and then my steam deck my steam deck it's on um, disabled frame limit on the performance tab and everything else is turned off and for power tools I have um, SMT on eight threads and governor performance okay so that's my settings that's my settings and yeah let's go into the game so i'll show you how to install this with lutris after the gameplay so stay tuned for that if you want to know how to install it i just want to show you how it performs how it runs for now okay so pretty much similar to Spider-Man Remastered, I think. Like it feels really smooth, but um, you still have some flickering in the UI. But uh, yeah, it's like really smooth, really, really smooth. Well, let's, let me go to the crowd. All right, you can see the camera. I think we got a little bit more ghosting when we changed the camera, or like when we turned the camera. Like Spider-Man Remastered only had the like UI flickering, but for Mars Morales, you can see I think I got a little bit more ghosting. So I hope that gets fixed out soon. But you can see with you know all the crowd getting a pretty much 60, 50-ish, 60 frames on high settings. And if you swing around, yeah, it feels feels really good. It's just, uh, my main issue is just the UI flickering and the ghosting. Like, uh, but I think uh, it's not solved right now. 
But uh, yeah, hopefully in the future. Yeah, I love... I love like flying around. This game is great. This is a good game. If you haven't played it, you know, you really should. All right. So yeah, I think that's enough gameplay. And let's go to desktop mode and I'll show you how to install this on Lutris. I'll see you in desktop mode. Welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. Before we go any further, I'd like to share with you that I have a secondary channel called Grown Up Cooking. It's brand new. I really need your support for this one. Other than gaming, cooking is also a passion of mine. So I'm planning to share with you some of my cooking dishes, recipes on that channel. Have some fun. I already have one video up right now. It's a lobster dish. So if you like gaming and you like eating, please go over there and support me. I'll show you some of my footage right now. Are you ready? Oh my god. So if you like what you saw, go watch the full video on my cooking channel, Grown Up Cooking. Links in the description. And let's get back to our game. So what you need to do is you need to locate your game's folder where the game exe is. So where milesmorales.exe. This is my game folder, the root of it. And here's the mod. It's by Luke FC. It's a paid mod. You need to join his Patreon in order to download this. I'm going to use the 0.7.2 version and I'm going to use the SDK. So SDK.zip. All right. Go here and drag all these files from the zip file into the root of your game folder. I'm going to overwrite because I already have it. For you, you don't need to overwrite if it's the first time. And also inside this 0.7.2, there's another zip file called enable proxy. You also need to drag this file over to the root of your game. So drag it over. This tricks the game thinking that you have a NVIDIA graphics card. But you don't because you're using a Steam Deck right now. Okay. So that's all done. All the files is done. Now I'm going to install the game with Lutris. So go and open up Lutris. I already have it here, but I'm going to show you how it's done. So click on the plus button on the top left corner. Click here, add locally installed games. Give it a name. I'm going to call it Miles Morales Test. And then runner, I'm going to select Wine. Go to Game Options. Click the Browse for the executable. Locate your game. Mine's here in the home folder, games, Miles Morales, game, and then select the exe, which is here, milesmorales.exe. And then wine prefix, you need to uh, create your own wine prefix. I normally put my prefixes inside the documents folder. So I created a folder called prefixes. You could do the same if you want. Just create a folder called prefixes. And inside, I just store my prefixes. So I'm going to create a new one for this one. So I just call it Miles Morales Test. Okay, it's just an empty folder. You can see it's empty. It will populate by itself. So here, I'm just going to click Browse. Go to Documents, Prefixes, Miles Morales Test. Okay. See, yeah, I've got it open here. When I run the game, it will populate here itself. And then in Runner Options, Wine version, I think any Wine GE or Proton GE or Proton uh, Experimental, I think any of these work. So I'm just going to use Wine GE 825 default. It's my default. Um, if you don't have this, all right, let me just save it. All right, let me save it. Okay, and you can see I've got the game here, Miles Morales. If you don't have that Wine GE, you can go over here on the left-hand side, Wine. And click this gear icon. No, not the gear icon. Here, not the gear icon, the one next to it. It says manage versions. And you can download, you can download different wine versions here. Okay. So if you don't have that wine version that I have, and you want to do exactly the same as me, you can do it there. Okay, now I've got the game. 
and I can run it. So let me show you. Let me run it. Play. And you can see my prefix. See it populated. It was an empty folder. This is populating the prefix folder. Okay. Okay. So now the game works. The launch is loaded. Let's go to settings. And we haven't loaded the mod yet. So make sure here you change it to windowed. It doesn't work on full screen. It'll crash. So make sure it's windowed. And if you go here, the upscale method, we don't have DOSS yet because we haven't loaded the mod. Once we load the mod, if thinks that you're using a NVIDIA graphics card, then we have DOSS. So we can't do anything right now. Just quit. Just quit. And how do we load the mod? Normally we would add that um, launch options, but these Lutris. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the game, go here where the wine is, and then go to wine configuration. Okay, so you get this wine configuration window, go into the libraries tab, and here, new override for library, just add winmm, and then add, has a warning, just click yes, and then we added that winmm DLL that we want to load for the mod. Apply, okay, now let's run the game again. If the mod is loaded, we should get that mod window like this, and then just go through the warning messages, Go to settings. Okay, set it back to windowed. And you can see upscale method, DOSS is here. All right, so select DOSS. I'm going to um, disable the dynamic resolution scaling. VSync off. And upscale sharpness. No, nothing for here. That's fine. Graphics, I'm going to set it to high. And then motion blur off. So turn all this all the way off. Film grain off. Okay. Yeah, basically that's it. Okay. Now let's run the game. Okay. Window mode. Make sure it's on windowed mode. And let's see if the game boots up. Yep, exactly. Done. All right. We've done it. So that's how you run the uh, DL, uh, not, not the OSS, the FSR 3.0 frame generation mod on Lutris. So I did other videos. Um, doing the add non steam game method for this method it's the lutris method so yeah hope this helped you out if it did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one later